This video is a guide to install Zebronic soundbars to smart TVs or other input devices. Zebronic soundbars provide multiple connectivity options like HDMI ARC, optical, coaxial, and AUX 3.5mm, etc., depending upon your smart TV or other input devices. Starting with HDMI ARC, please ensure your TV supports a HDMI ARC port. Zebronic soundbars support both HDMI ARC and EARC. You can identify them with the term ARC written near the HDMI ports of your TV. Check your TV user manual if necessary. TV's EARC port are backwards compatible, meaning one can connect either EARC or ARC enabled soundbars to it. Use a HDMI cable with ARC support having standard version 1.4 or above. You could opt for Zebronic's range of HDMI cables. Refer to the link in the description. Various Zebronic soundbars have HDMI cable provided inside the package. Power off the TV and the soundbar. Now connect the TV's and the soundbar's HDMI ARC port with the recommended cable. To avoid disturbance, we recommend you to remove other input devices like the setup box or other HDMI devices from the TV. Use the Zebronix remote to enter HDMI ARC mode in soundbar. For CEC settings, you can check depending upon the TV's brand. Once done, some TVs recognize the soundbar automatically. If not, you can open TV settings and search for audio, sound, or external speaker related options to activate HDMI ARC. Depending upon the soundbars supporting Dolby or 5.1 surround or stereo sound, the audio format setting must be changed in your TV. You can set auto for a soundbar supporting Dolby. For other soundbars, you can select PCM format. For TVs or other setup box having optical port, use an optical cable for connecting the TV and soundbar. Use the Zebronix remote to enter optical mode in the soundbar. You can open TV settings and search for audio or sound or external speaker related options to activate optical audio output. You can set auto for a soundbar supporting Dolby. For other soundbars, you can select PCM format. Similarly, you can identify the port with the term coaxial written on your TV. Connect the TV and soundbar with a coaxial cable and change the mode to coaxial in the soundbar using Zebronix remote. Follow the other steps explained previously for changing the settings in your TV. This mode can be used with TVs, setup box, laptops, etc. Use a 3.5mm aux cable to connect with the soundbar and the source device. Ensure the audio settings of your TV have been changed to external speaker or some TVs have headphones option in them. Use the Zebronix remote to enter aux mode in soundbar. Kindly disable Dolby and use PCM in your TV settings. For wireless audio streaming from your smartphone or tablet, you can enter Bluetooth mode in soundbar with the Zebronix remote. Now open the Bluetooth menu in your smartphone and connect with the Zebronix soundbar. Once done, you can stream audio. The soundbar remote comes with multiple useful features such as Input for mode change, bass and treble control, volume and media control, preset equalizer mode controls. Wireless subwoofers and satellites get connected automatically upon powering on the soundbar. If necessary, a reset procedure can be used for reconnecting the wireless unit. All wireless subwoofers and satellites have reset button on the back panel and the bottom panel respectively. Press the button as the LED indication starts to blink fast. Now, power off the soundbar directly from the power supply. Restart the soundbar and now the LED indication will stop blinking to indicate blue LED constantly. This indicates the connection is now successful. Zebronic soundbars are easily wall mountable. The necessary clamps, screws 
and other provisions are provided in the package. Firstly, mark the drilling area on the wall with the soundbar's back panel reference. Drill the holes. Place the wall mount bracket and screw. Now simply rest the soundbar on the bracket against the wall. Certain soundbars have clamps which can be attached to the soundbar's back panel and then made to hang on the wall. To experience Dolby, ensure to have a Zebronic soundbar with Dolby support, a smart TV or a compatible HD input device capable of processing and providing Dolby, and a source file with Dolby format audio like suitable OTT content etc. A successful connection with this Dolby supported setup would be indicated on the Zebronic soundbar display.